What's up, guys? Um, as you can see in the title, stack more reps, stack more steps. You know, we talk all the time about uh, stacking uh, precious metals, cash, ammunition, firearms, Bitcoin, uh, you know, all our essentials that we need. But the problem is a lot of us, including myself, are not in any kind of shape. Uh, I, I'll be 48 years old in a few days. I'm six foot two and I'm about 200 and I didn't weigh myself this morning. Between 285 and 291, I think. Something like that. I've gotten down to like uh, 272 um, a couple of months ago. So I'll fluctuate between like 272 and 291 and six foot two. And now I'm 48 years old and my body fat percentage is probably high 30s. Now I'm telling you that for a reason. Um, I'm ashamed of that and I'm not proud of that. You know, uh, I got a lot of things, man, you know, and so do you, we all do. And this is kind of a self-reflection and uh, you guys are my brothers, man. Um, I respect each and every one of you. And uh, I'm doing this because I'm pretty sure some of you have a lot of materialistic things too. The problem is your your health uh, is not up to par with your material materialistic stuff, and, and neither is mine. Ken and Taylor, he has um, cancer. Kid said, my only wish before I die is to meet Floyd Mayweather. He came to the boxing gym and waited for me. I got here on time, and when I seen him, it brought tears to my eyes. And this kid is only 10 years old. We took a picture. I wanted to post it on social media and I couldn't post it because I couldn't find the words to say. Every day I think about this, this child, every day. Life is priceless. And your health is your wealth. Um, again, I know this is a uh, kind of like a financial channel or whatever, but uh, without your health, it's not uh, it's not it's not nothing. You guys know that. Um, the reason why I love Andrew Tate so much is because he talks about everything, man. The man who goes to the gym every single day, regardless of how he feels, will always beat the man who goes to the gym when he feels like going to the gym. And it's player versus player. A good man controls himself. I have absolute self control. Emotional control is absolutely and utterly important as a man. You need to understand as a man, there are certain principles under which you act regardless of how you feel. Bam. I can wake up in a terrible mood. Yes. I can wake up sad. I can ache. I can have a, a busy day, stressed, etc. I will complete the same tasks as if I woke up in a fantastic mood. I'll do the same things because how I feel has no bearing on the things I'm going to do with my day because I have duty to myself. There is no light without dark. You will not appreciate your six pack unless you didn't have one and you had to earn it. That's how the world works. So when I talk to these dudes like, oh, but it's, you know what, Tate? Yeah, I agree. But you know, it's hard. It's hard. Of course it is. It's supposed to be. And I, there's a lot of guys I, I, uh, I listen to, but him most particularly the last six to eight months, I've been listening to him hard. And uh, I listen to other people too, but uh, I'm gonna play a clip for you real quick. This is Andrew Tate's uh, cousin, Luke, and Tristan Tate's cousin, because Andrew Tate is 36, and I think uh, Tristan's like 34, he's like a year and a half younger than um, Andrew. And Luke is their cousin. Um, and Luke's kind of like the dude. 
he's in their crew. He's always with them. He's the guy kind of filming a lot. Real smart dude. Real good guy, too. Luke is a real good dude. And uh, he recently said this right here when, uh, you know, because they're obviously in, in jail right now, Tristan and, and, um, and Andrew. This is what he said about uh, Andrew Tate. I truly don't understand how anyone hates Tate. I, I speak to Tate about it all the time. I'm like, bro, I literally don't get how people hate you. I don't get it. I, I truly don't understand. You, all you do is promote is individual strength and in making their lives better. That's all you promote. You say, become super rich so that the government can't just tell you what to do, otherwise they take away your paycheck. Become super rich so you can't just get fired because you think that you should be strong and that the government doesn't always tell the truth that like he's just promoting you to become anti-fragile to whatever the world can can do to you he just promotes it so that your family will always be okay and that you don't have to be silenced most people can't say what they think because they will get fired hr and their place will fire them if they say what they think that's most people most people don't realize or they or they do realize and they just are quiet which is what the smart ones do if they're in that position is that, look, I can't say what I think, otherwise I might lose my job and then I will t let my family down because my family depends on me. That's the case of most people. And the people who hate Tate, I truly, truly don't understand it. It really is that some people are so dependent on the matrix that they will fight to defend it. It truly is that level. I, I personally literally can't believe it. I, I've been saying Tate for years. I don't get how people hate you. I just simply don't understand it. It doesn't make sense in my mind. All you t tell people to do is work out super hard to become strong. And yeah, he might say that in a bit of offensive way, right? He might say that like, yeah, you, you, it's, it's disgraceful to be fat. You shouldn't, no one should be fat. It's a disgrace. It's a shame on your family name. He might say it so that it hurts some fat people's feelings. But at the end of the day, what he's trying to do is he's trying to get those fat people to take care of their health. That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to make them healthier. They hate him for trying to make them healthier. They hate him because he tries to tell them to have standards about their lives. Like, ah, wait, so you're just gonna become an unhealthy piece of shit. Do you not care about your parents? You, you really wanna die early. You, you really wanna die early because you have bad health? You couldn't do some push-ups, So you wanna die early and let everyone down? Let all your family and friends down? Let them all be sad earlier? You, you really, that, that's the life you want? That's what he says. That's what he tells people. And that's why fat people hate him. Like, that's why most people hate him. People hate him because he tells them, like, what? Oh, wait, so you're just going to work a slave job that you can get fired from at any moment and you're not going to try and become rich for your family, for your family and friends. What if, your, what if your friends right now, they get fired and they're about to lose the house unless you can give them $10,000? You're really going to be the guy who doesn't have the $10,000 to give your family and friends? Like, I don't get it because it, what it is to me is it's such laziness. It's such brutal laziness. They just don't want to be fit because they don't want to do the push-ups, but they don't think about the repercussions for their friends and family and everyone they love. They all, everyone loves people. Like being out of shape is saying that you don't love them as much as an in-shape person loves their friends and family. The, the people who hate Tate, I really don't understand their mindset and I'd love to understand their mindset to hopefully help them so that maybe after that discussion with them, they will start thinking, you know what, maybe I should start Tate. Maybe I should watch what I eat. Maybe I don't need to drink that Coca-Cola and Pepsi because it's, it's only this level of like irresponsibility. Like, do you really need to drink that Coca-Cola? Do you really need that? Is that really more important to you than 15 minutes extra with your family? Because that's what it's doing. It's hurting your health. So is the amount of happiness that that Coca-Cola brings you really worth the damage to your family? Like the, the heartbreak of when, you're, when you die younger than you would have without the Coca-Cola. Is that really what you want? I don't get it. And it truly is, man, that, that, the Matrix movie has it fucking right. Some people are so dependent on the system that they will fight to protect it. Yeah. So if you listen to that and uh, don't want to work out or don't want to get your body right, um, something's wrong with you, man. And I like, and that's, that's Luke talking. That's not Andrew. Andrew's much more, uh, and Tristan. They're much more uh, blunt with it. My grandmother raised me, my daddy's mother, and I, I was born and raised with her. And she was a Southern woman, so she's obviously uh, two generations ahead of me. And, you know, she knew what it was for her, about hard work. 
and I've always been a hard worker, but I'm gonna tell you this, man, you gotta work harder on yourself than you do any kind of job. And I firmly believe that. And me, myself, I wasn't always the guy in shape. I was a basketball player as a kid and into my 20s. I even played basketball when I was in the military. Um, but I always, you know, loved moving around in sports. I wasn't a really big weightlifter or nothing like that. I, I had a basketball body. As a, as a kid, I was six foot two, between 175 to 200 pounds from my uh, from 18, 19, all the way up to 24. Then once I hit 24, uh, I had a back injury and my metabolism kind of slowed down at the same time. So last 20 plus years, I've been incrementally uh, stacking fat uh, quicker probably than I've been stacking silver. And uh, we, we all stack stuff, man. You know, we're always talking about we're stackers and this, that, and the third. We just gotta stack the right stuff. When I tell you at the end of my videos about stack your, stack your knowledge and stack your muscles, I mean that, man. <clears throat> I got a Fitbit here that tracks everything, my calories, my steps. So what I'm trying to do now, the most important thing is to stack as many, oh, calories burned, excuse me. Stack as many steps I can every day. <clears throat> stack calories burned stacking good food in my body, stacking ounces of water in my body and getting rid of the things that I don't wanna stack. Minutes of watching porno, stacking bad food in your body, wasting time watching junk, eating junk. We gotta do better, all of us. We're all brothers and uh, <clears throat> we're all brothers and sisters in this world, not just the country, but in the world, but specifically uh, for my Bitcoin and silver precious metal stackers. Um, the reason why I say you should show your face is not to brag, not to break your anonymity or anything like that. I say that because this should not be a secret society, you know, when we're, when we're making these videos. And I and even if you're not making videos right now, and you are a uh, precious metal stacker, and you want to stay anonymous, and you just want to completely just be in hiding and not tell anybody, you know, that's on you. I can't tell you how to live your life. But if you, I, and I suggest you make videos, by the way, just to spread the word, because everybody in their home, or everybody should have precious metals. They don't have to necessarily keep it at home. But if you are making videos and you're one of the hand channels that just shows your hands. Um, you're doing yourself, the community, and future stackers a disservice. Um, and the reason I'm saying that is because again, I'm gonna beat a dead horse here. I'm not telling anybody to show where you live, your last name, or your date of birth, or your social, or any kind of personal information. It's gonna be very hard for you as an individual that want to spread the message about silver and gold and Bitcoin if you're not showing your face because you're showing a person that never did it that I have to go into hiding when I do it. That That's what you're doing. <clears throat> so look at it from a new stacker's perspective or somebody that hasn't been in the space and they keep watching video after video of somebody just showing their hands and showing silver. Yeah, it's cool, we're here to see the pretty stuff. But we're not here to see anybody's face, I get that. But you gotta mix it up. So if you wanna make a video while you're working out or while you're at the coin shop, um, you know, you can show your face, man. And I'm gonna tell you this, you know, if you're doing it because and if you're, if you're a person that makes videos in, in particular, if you're doing it because you don't want anybody to rob you, or if you don't want anybody or the government to find you, I mean, just let's look at the logic in that. Let's talk about that. Let's take, and I like to use him as an example, and I'm not calling him out because I, I like this guy and he's, 
he's one of the bigger channels, but let's let's think about Yankee stacking for a second. And again, he's a God fearing man, good man. He's making a good business off of his YouTube channel and he does his thing and I commend him. But let's take Yankee stacking. He doesn't show his face, right? So when you're watching his videos and he's at the coin shop, he's at Tim's shop, which everybody knows where Tim's shop is. You know, when you go there, you know that you got the address. When people pull up to the shop, to the coin shop, um, oh, look at these dogs. My name. Look at that. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> Beautiful doggies. Beautiful. And when you go, when they go to the coin shop, when you see people, because Yankee asks the same question all the time. Hey, when a, when a new person comes in, hey, what, what brings you here? Then they say, because of you, Yankee. Oh, really? Okay. And then he'll film them buy it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Then he'll film them buy it. Uh, <laughs> he'll film them buying gold or silver or whatever. <clears throat> Is he hiding his face when he's doing that, by the way? I don't, I don't think so. Um... If somebody wanted to find Yankee stacking, which I'm pretty sure if you've seen his videos, cause he's been stacking a long, long, long time. You know, he's, he's got a bunch of gold, a bunch of silver. He's got more. And I'm saying as far as people that make videos, cause I'm sure there's people, there's some of you guys out here that's not making any videos that uh, have more than Yankee. But for the people that are making the videos specifically and hiding their face, you think you got more gold and silver than Yankee? No. <clears throat> you don't but yankee hides his face thinking that nobody's gonna find him or he's anonymous maybe somebody's gonna rob him maybe i don't know what the reasons are okay i, I, I don't but if the government wants to find you it's pretty simple you know i mean it's, it's really simple if you don't want the government or anybody to know who you are at all and you're just completely anonymous and you shouldn't be making YouTube videos, period. But a guy like that, that has as much as he has, because he's shown a lot of gold, silver, he's shown a lot of cash. He shouldn't be making YouTube videos if he's worried about people or the government or somebody trying to rob him or something like that. Or his neighbors or whoever he's hiding from know who he is because he goes to the same coin shop every time and everybody knows where that coin shop is. I don't think he's that hard to identify. <laughs> My point is, guys, we got to make this stuff mainstream. There's nothing wrong, and we got to make it nothing wrong, by the way, to have your gold and silver and to have your arms, your right to bear arms, because it is your right. You should be stacking your ammunition. That's the most important metal. And protecting your family. That should be okay. That should be not hidden, you know? You should be able to go out here and go to the coin shop. And by the way, when I go to the go uh, any coin shop, I don't see anybody hiding their face. You know what I mean? I don't see anybody. Do you? Um, when I go there, I, I talk to them and all the time. We're not, we know each other by first name. We don't know where each other lives and we do our thing. I'm like, hey, what you getting today, man? You know, they're kind of like your neighbors. When you go to the corner store or something, you've seen them coin shop owner he knows your name you know the coin shop owner's name you don't think he has his own personal stack and have more than you got of course so guys it doesn't make any sense not to show your face and i'm saying this because it's a pet peeve of mine because I, some of you i have much respect for and i really love your channels the problem is i don't want to show it to them because then because i've had more than a dozen people tell me why are they not showing their face? <laughs> you know what I mean? Why are they only showing their hands and, and the medals and stuff? And I've had literally people tell me, well, I don't want to do that, man, because I don't want to have to go into hiding or something like that. And then I try to explain, oh, it's for security reasons and blah, blah, blah. And then once you answer one question about that, then you have to ask another, answer another about why they're doing that. Why would they need to go into hiding and blah, blah, blah. Oh, you mean to tell me I'm going to pull? Because these are people that don't know about precious metals, by the way. So you mean to tell me I have to pull my money out of the bank, put it in gold and silver, and then go to hiding? Yeah, no thanks. I mean, you know. So, 
guys, let's make this mainstream. I, I, I had a, I saw a post on, cause I look at Bitcoin, Reddit, uh, the Reddit post on Bitcoin, uh, the Bitcoin Reddit post, excuse me. Obviously I look at wall street silver and I look at those two posts and they're almost identical. Bitcoin and wall street silver, except one says Bitcoin's better. Another one says silver is better. I don't I don't know about one for gold. If there is one for gold on Reddit, let me know or platinum, let me know. But they all basically don't show their faces. They show how many Satoshis they have. Satoshis are a hundred million uh, little small increments of Bitcoin. It's like fractional silver, fractional gold, very fractional. And then they show how many ounces of silver they have. And then they'll post about the Fed and this, that, and the third. There was a one post in particular this guy just got over three Bitcoin, three full Bitcoin. That's pretty good. 300 million Satoshis. It's 100 million each one. Um, I, I really believe that we'll be we'll be transacting in so Satoshis one day. Uh, and I don't say that lightly. I don't say that just to say it. I've done a lot of research on that. And the probabilities say that. And when he posted that post, look at these comments right here. Basically, they're saying, oh, now that you showed that, hide your face, pull this down, blah, blah, blah. Why? You know what I mean? That don't make any sense. And then there were many more comments underneath that that said the same thing, similar to that. <clears throat> Listen, guys. <clears throat> it's 2023. I'm not talking about New Year's resolutions or nothing like that. Them, them shits don't work. I'm talking about getting yourself better. My best friend slash my brother, he's kind of like an Andrew Tate. <clears throat> he's like an Andrew Tate slash Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger is one of those dudes that I really look up to because everything that he wanted, he got in his life. Look up his six rules of life and you'll see. Um, think, you know, think about every... He's a Democrat. I don't like that, but... Think about everything he's accomplished in his life. That's how my, my best friend is. And uh, anything he puts his mind to, he, he gets it, man. I do that, I do too, to a certain extent, but he's he's on another level. He called me yesterday and uh, he basically told me, you're a fat ass. You know, you got all this stuff, you need to chill out, man. You need to get, get in shape. You know, you're not, you're not taking your health seriously. He goes, all those ounces of whatever and how many Satoshis you have don't mean shit if you ain't here for, to enjoy them. And just like Luke and Andrew said, you're doing your family a disservice by not going out there and treating your body right. And I said, drinking that Coke, eating that cake, or eating those potato chips. So stack your reps, stack your sets, stack all the good stuff and unpack and unstack that bad stuff you used to and don't do it anymore or limit to limit it as low as you can, all right? I love each and every one of you, you know that. You guys are my boys. And uh, if you're stacking metals, show your face, make this thing mainstream and I'll get the word out about freedom, decentralized assets and uh, loving this country. I'll talk to you soon. Peace and love.